Sagan. Hey guys, Mockers is here, and today I'm going to be reviewing the Lenovo N22 laptop as my camera gets really out of focus. So, this is the Lenovo N22 laptop. I did a video of me setting it up back around Christmas. I hope you enjoyed that video. So anyways, let's go here into my phone, and here's what I'm going to be judging for the computer. Slight focus. Picture, benchmark, graphics, web browsing, YouTube, processor speed, the build quality, total price, and my overall rating, which will be summed up by all of these up here. So first, let's turn on the computer. This is a Windows 10 laptop down there. I know it's upside down, but it says professional Windows. So it's running Windows 10 Pro. Let me enter my password. Okay. So let's give it a second to go in. So now let's test the picture. camera so it's got the indicator right there that the camera is on this is a swivel camera so you can like you can rotate it 360 let's put no Okay, so I'm on the camera right now. My hair is really messy. So, anyways, this is, I believe, a VGA camera. It's quite a bit grainy. You can't really notice it on here, but it really is quite grainy. And I can do it, I can point it. So then, right now it's in the mirror. Or even further down my laptop okay so that's the camera on here and let's go over to here oh I'd say picture is quite good I will give it some credit for the swivel camera but for the quality er, not that good VGA is really out of date. I'll give the camera a 5 out of 10. Well, actually, I forgot about the swivel camera. 6 out of 10. Now for the benchmarks. I'm going to go over to my Google Chrome. Yes, I did download Google Chrome. No. Nova Bench. That's what I'm going to use for this. So let me go download it. Okay, so Nova Bench is now installed, and let's start the benchmark tests. Okay. Kick back and come back if you would like or want to to see the results. I'm going to keep the camera running if anybody wants to see this.
So this is the graphics portion of the benchmark. Performing quite smooth. Okay, so I got a score of 305. Let's compare these results. So, 314. Okay, so the benchmark performed quite well. The, the picture quality was a little bit on the meh side, but it was pretty smooth and pretty quick. Seems like everything did pretty well. So for this benchmark, I'll give it an 8 out of 10. Now for graphics and gaming. So I'm just going to load up Madeline. Madeline Stunt Cars 2. I'm choosing this game because it's really graphic intensive. Like, it's really big on performance. Gonna refresh it. By the way, I am running on 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi, so it might be a little slow. I'll be back when the game loads. Okay, so I am back now. The game has loaded. Let's go multiplayer. And to get full performance out of this, I am going to join a room with 9 players out of 10. So right now I am joining the room. Okay, so I'm here, and it, it's still loading, so here's my car, and I don't care that my car is pink. So you can see, very laggy, the audio is very stuttery and jumpy. Okay, so for the for the graphics, the resolution, it was okay. It was a little blocky and as an, as for performance, 
not so good. And yeah. So for graphics, I'm going to give it a 5 out of 10. Now for web browsing. As I said earlier, this computer does support 5 gigahertz Wi-Fi, but I'm only connected to 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi. So let's open up Google.com. Okay, so pretty fast. Now let's open up a new page, CNN. Com. Let's see how long this takes to load. Okay, so it's still loading. Oh, there it goes. So that was pretty fast. So for the web browsing, I will give it. Uh, I'll give web browsing a nine out of ten. No, not eight. 9 out of 10. Now for YouTube. It's loaded. I'll be back when I have YouTube loaded. Okay, so YouTube is loaded. I'm going to put on my latest video, which I uploaded like half an hour ago. What's up guys, this is Malcrisis here, and, and today I'm change the resolution. the LG Optimus Fuel. So it can do 1080p now, because sorry, I, I record in 1080p. A lot recently, so take a little listen I've here. I've taking a little hiatus or break, whatever you like to call it. So let's get started with the review. So before I power on the phone, here in the memo, I organized the review, so I'll be reviewing the picture, low light, video, antitude, quadrant, graphics, web browsing, YouTube, processor speed, build quality, overall price, and the total rating based on what I put up here. So, so if you want to watch the rest of the video, just go to my channel. Okay, so. As I was moving the computer around during the video playback, the viewing angles were horrible. But it was able to do 1080p just fine. And the sound was pretty good. So I'll give YouTube an 8 out of 10. Now for the processor speed. This computer is running on a Broadwell Celeron clocked at 1.6 GHz N 3050 CPU. So this computer can do day-to-day -day tasks just fine, but if you if you get the system too clogged up with like cache and web browsing then it will start to slow down. But otherwise, the process of speed is perfectly usable. You can do pretty much anything on it. So for processor speed, I'll give it an 8 out of 10. Now, build quality. This computer houses an all plastic construction a fingerprint magnet. As you can see, it has my fingerprints on it. Let's do it down here. So yeah, not that good for that. So you, if you want to keep your computer clean, just keep it like, just clean it often if you use it a lot like me. So let me enter my password again. Okay, so the trackpad is plastic as well. I don't really like these click mechanisms. It's really cheap in my opinion. 
But as for the keyboard, I really like the keyboard. It's a chiclet style key with the little like curve at the bottom. It can type just well, really good. So let's type in mock gracers. Okay, so did that pretty well. So yeah, build quality is certainly not the best, but I do like the keyboard. So I'll give build quality a 5 out of 10. As for the price, I will go look up on the internet the price for this thing. Okay, so right here, it says $220 about for a new Lenovo N22. So, 2019 is very budget friendly, even though it is not the cheapest laptop out there, even though it is better than a Chromebook because it runs Windows. Chromebooks are a lot cheaper because I can just go on Amazon and find a Chromebook, a Samsung Chromebook for about a hundred dollars. So price, I'll give it an 8 out of 10. Now I will calculate the overall rating. Okay, so the overall rating for this laptop, the Lenovo N22, is a 7.1 out of 10. There. 7.1 out of 10. So yeah. This computer is okay for getting day-to-day -day things done, but it definitely cannot play the the best games like GTA 5 and all those racing games. But it can still do day-to-day -day tasks like media playback and web browsing and light gaming. So yeah, that is my review for the Lenovo N22, and I hope you very much enjoyed this video, and yeah, peace out.